I'm Jeff Day, one of the application specialists here, and in front of me, Johnny Stamper, one of our other application specialists. So this is our J106, is a six foot by 10 foot cutting area. And as with all things Wardjet, this can be customized to suit your application, whether you need a larger cutting envelope, whether you need longer offloading, onloading tables. This machine has a 10 foot loading area, 10 foot cutting area, 10 foot offloading table but these can be stretched or shrunk depending on your application. We can also change the material for the belt. This is a one continuous stainless steel belt. You can have three separate belts and the onloading and offloading belts could be different materials depending on your application. So with that, we'll go ahead and zoom in on some of the other features on this machine and see what really sets this apart as a water only cutting system. Down here at this end of the machine, this would typically be where you would feed your material into the system. That's one of the nice things about the J-Series is you can either use it to cut planks of material like we have loaded on here that we'll be cutting initially, or you can cut rolls of material. So typically if you're gonna be using a plank, you won't need the pinch feed roller that's shown here, but when we do the roll, that pinch feed roller will come down, pinch the material, and help pull it into our cutting area. So from a safety aspect, we have this surround around the cutting area and around the machine to keep your people safe. The doors are interlocked, so if anybody tries to enter the cutting area uh, while it's cutting, they open that door, everything's going to be put into e-stop. Another safety feature is this cover back here, where if you're running the chain backwards and material starts to go under this cover here, then this will flip up and also put the machine into e-stop. So we've really looked at the safety aspects of working around a high-speed machine. Also down at this end, we have this control box here, which has a few different features. And this box, there's four of these around the machine. So one of the things you can do here is adjust how far down that pinch feed roller is gonna come, depending on the thickness of your material. So I have a button here that I can use to raise or lower that pinch feed roller, depending on the thickness that I'm using and then you've got a switch here that actually brings the pinch feed roller down to that height. Other things you can do back here, you can load your material. So if I press load material, it'll advance the material until it hits a photo eye at the front of your cutting zone. So you're at your zero zero point on your table. You can also start and stop programs from these boxes. So if you're back here doing something and something goes on with the machine or you just want to start your program, you can start and stop programs from here. And then you can also advance your chain forward or back with here. And then there's also an e-stop button. So there are four of these control pedestals around the machine. Okay, so a couple other key features at this end of the system that we can take a look at. First of all, over on this side, we have this guide here for the chain, and there's a corresponding guide at the other end of the system. So this keeps the chain tracking nice and straight, and this is important because if you're doing, say, a long part that's actually longer than the cutting envelope and you want to index your chain to continue that cut, this will keep that chain so it's tracking nice and straight. Another thing is over on the other side here, we have a material guide. So whether you're loading roll of material or board material, you can just butt that up against that guide and that'll keep that nice and square going into your cutting area. And there's a corresponding guide like this in the cutting envelope to keep everything squared up. Okay, over here on this side of the machine gives us a good view of the construction of the tank. First of all, you can see the slope bottom design to the tank. So all your cutting water is going to drain to the middle of the tank here and then flow out of this opening here. Also, you can see a bit of the stainless steel floor inside the tank, which provides for a very long lasting system. And then also uh, there are wash down bars inside here. So we'll, we can pump some of this water back into the tank and use that to wash any residual material out into this area here. So outside the tank, we've got our sump tank here. So this has an expanded mesh screen to catch your larger pieces of material coming out of the tank. And then down in the bottom there, your sump tray, you can either put a sump pump in there to pump your water to drain. You might want to pump through a sock filter to get any additional residue out of the water before it goes to drain. Or you can also pump to one of our paper bed filters to help get that out of your water before it goes to drain. I want to show you guys our optional paper bed filter that is placed between the water jet and your drain to get the heavy sediment out of your water before it goes to drain. The wastewater from the water jet is pumped over top of a micron paper 
that collects all the heavy sediment before the water passes through. As the sediment builds up on the paper, the paper is automatically advanced out the end and into a bin for disposal. The clean water then can go to drain for an environmental friendly disposal. The drive system on this machine is a helical rack and pinion that's been armoury coated for rust and corrosion protection. Now we're going to do some test cuts. The new aluminum crossbeam comes in at 159 pounds, which is 70% lighter than the previous steel crossbeam. Between the rack and pinion drive and the lighter crossbeam, it allows us to reach speeds of 2,500 inches per minute at up to 80 inches per second square of acceleration. The dual cutting heads have programmable Z and Y axis, which allows us for automatic head spacing, automatic leveling, and mirror cutting. This machine is also 5-axis capable with the new Apex 60 cutting head. Thank you for joining us today for our J-Series presentation. We hope you enjoyed it. And here's just a small sampling of what we've cut with about 10 minutes worth of cutting today on this machine. So as you can see, highly productive machine. And if you're interested in learning more about how the J-Series can bring this sort of productivity to your company, please feel free to contact us.